Hello everyone, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an advanced PowerPoint quiz. And here I've just set up a PowerPoint with a begin the quiz slide, uh, a question with four multiple choices, and another one the same thing, and a results page. And this used to be a simple case of making a slide and linking each one of these to the corresponding correct or incorrect, and then uh, having a hyperlink to the next question. But this is going to use Visual Basic for applications, or VBA. So this is a little bit more uh, advanced, and to do this you're going to need the developer tab up here. And if you don't have this, go to file, then options, and customize ribbon, and developer. And then click OK, and you should have your developer tab up here. So after you've got this, go to Visual Basic, and this window will come up. And right click VBA project, and go insert module. And then this will open. And now we're going to start coding our VBA. So first type in dim number correct as integer. And these will light up according to what you've typed in. So it's just some color coding to help you out. Dim number wrong as integer. So now this is going to store our two variables for how many they've got right and how many they've got wrong as integers. And now I'm going to do a sub start which is like a function and I'm gonna set our number correct equal to zero and our number wrong also equal to zero so that it is all equal to zero at the start in case it's saved from the previous one and now we want to automatically forward the slide by one so we're gonna type in active presentation dot slideshow uh, slideshow window dot view dot next and that takes it next uh, that takes it one slide afterwards and then we're gonna make a function for if they're wrong I mean if they're correct so when they're correct what we want to do is add one to the number correct variable so that's simply number correct equals whatever number correct is at the moment add one and we want a message box to appear that says well done that is correct and close that and a two commas and then this will have a title at the top of the window that pops up and that's it uh, and then as always, you have to forward the presentation by one slide. So slideshow window dot view dot next. And now we have to make a similar one for if they're wrong. So this time it's number wrong equals number wrong plus one. Enter. And we want a message box that says sorry that is incorrect and then two commas and then quiz so that they know what the message box is for and again active presentation dot slideshow window dot view dot next so that we go forward one slide and now finally we have to do our function for the results so sub results and notice that the PowerPoint automatically inputs n, n sub view, so you don't have to type that in. So message box, and you got, and then either space and another uh, speech mark, and an ampersand, which is shift 7, or the and sign. And we want it to display what the number correct variable is, and another and sign, and a speech mark space out of space uh, and number correct add number wrong so that it adds up how many questions there are because they can either be correct or incorrect and then another ampersand or shift 7 and we want a full stop and then two commas like before and quiz results so that we can see so that there is a title on the brow on the pop up that appears and that's it 
So now if you just save that here, and you can close this window, and now we have to start in PowerPoint. So let's start on the first one. So I'm going to right click begin the quiz. Uh, no, sorry, I'm going to go to begin the quiz and insert a action. And I'm going to run the macro on mouse click of start. So when they click this, it starts. And what's that going to do is going to clear the variables for us. Now I'm going to go to the next slide. And I am, so which one of these define a variable called the name in VBA? And I just showed you this. It's dim name is string. It's just a different variable name and a different variable type. So these three are wrong and this is correct. So you just right click, uh, sorry, no, click it and then go to action, run macro and correct. So that's done for us. And then this one, click it, run macro, wrong. And again, wait, so we have to click the entire thing. Run macro, wrong. And this one run macro wrong run macro wrong for that one and that's all done and I'm just going to remove this hyperlink from here and over here the same thing how do you increase a variable called count in VBA well this is done in JavaScript this is totally wrong this is how we did it and this is also totally wrong so we're going to click that action run wrong and the same thing for that one run macro wrong and over here run macro wrong and this is the right one because that's how we did it so it's count equals count plus one except we did number correct equals number correct plus one and number wrong equals number wrong plus one so that's correct and finally we have our results so action run macro results okay and now we can test it out, so go to slideshow and just do it from the beginning. So here we have our quiz, and when we begin, you can see that it puts it for one slide, and you don't know, you can't see it yet, but it's actually uh, set the variables to zero. So now which one of these define a variable called name in VBA? It's this one. Well done, that is correct, okay. And how do you increase a variable called count in VBA? It's this one, but let's get it wrong on purpose, let's click this one. Sorry, that is incorrect. Okay. Now, our results should say you got one out of two. You got one out of two. So that's all working fine. And then you just click and you end the PowerPoint. So, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.